Hello and welcome to Pursuit a Perfect System. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the ways, means, methods, best, best practices for filling speaker stands. Now, anybody who's ever owned a pair of bookshelf speakers will know the stands are just as important as the speakers themselves. And they, they never come filled or they never come full. They always need filling. And I've seen loads of times people ask the question, you know, what is the best product to use to fill them and how much do I need to apply? And there never seems to be, you know, a hard and fast rule. Sometimes you'll see fill them halfway. Sometimes you'll see fill them three quarters. Sometimes people say don't fill them too much. Sometimes people say fill them right up. You know, you get all, all different types of advice, opinions, you know, typical for, you know, for hi-fi, you know, lots of difference of opinions. But I thought I would just explain what I'm going to do to these stands, which are the Apollo Cyclone 6 that were provided to us by Atacama for the Bowers and Wilkins 705 S2 review which is coming soon and obviously there's only one product that I would even consider filling them with and that is Atacama Atabite. So stick around, come back and all will be explained. There's two real main reasons why you feel speaker stands. Then the first one is very obvious. The first one is for mass loading, basically adding weight. We look at these, for example, these Apollo Cyclone 6 speaker stands from Atacama in their Apollo range. These are empty and hollow at the moment. It doesn't take a lot of pressure to move them backwards and forwards, left and right, oh, excuse me, but obviously in terms of backwards and forwards, left and right, no pressure at all. Now, if we've got our very expensive and heavy bookshelf speaker sitting on top of that, obviously center of gravity is high. It's not gonna take a lot to knock the speaker over. Now, it's probably gonna affect the performance a little bit as well, but obviously adding weight to this just means if we bump it by mistake when we come to clean it, if for example, the kids bump into it, you know, running around, it's not gonna fall over. So that's the obvious reason for mass loading the speaker stand. But it's one that's actually more important from a sonic point of view, and that's to stop the speaker stand ringing. Now, if you listen to this, I'll do it again. Oh, no, just tighten up a little bit. Do it again. Now this is an acoustically treated room with a very low natural reverb and echo. Now if I tap that again, listen to just how long that rings for. That's like three seconds or more. So that is not good for sound. I mean, when it comes to the Bowers and Wilkins 705 S2 review, you'll see they put a huge amount of effort and design in stopping that with inside the cabinet. So you plonk that expensive quality speaker on top of a stand and it's ringing the whole time the speakers are being played. Now we can't have that. So that is really the big benefit of mass loading or filling the stands. Now, what do we use to fill the stands? Now again, if you go and do a Google search, you'll find a million threads on forums where people are suggesting this and they're suggesting that. People have suggested cat litter, I've seen that before. People have suggested sand, obviously dry kiln sand that you, before you put it in, you have to bake it in the oven. Palava, why would you go to all that effort when you can just, for under 30 pounds on Amazon, you can buy a tub of Atabikes? Now they are a metal type of filler, which are zinc coated. Over time, there will be no oxidization and degradation within your stands. So 30 pounds, you know, it's not cheap, but it's not, relatively speaking, expensive either. Now you can pick up these Apollo Cyclone 6 speaker stands for 100 pounds or just under 100 pounds. So we add on a tub of Atabites, 130 pounds. And then we have the optimum solution for our product. Obviously people are still gonna go and do what they always do, but think about it logically. Why would you bother to go through all that aggro and grief when you could just buy a purpose-made product? And you probably will only need one tub per speaker stands. At the very most, I would imagine two. So what I wanna show really in this video, anybody can tip you know, a bag of something in, into a stand. That's not really important, but what I just wanna demonstrate is as we fill the speaker stand up, this ringing will gradually reduce. And what I'm expecting to find is the ringing will actually change. So 
As we start adding the Atabites to the stand, I'm expecting the ringing to stop at the bottom of the stand here, but still happen up here. And what I think is the best approach is we keep adding filler, we keep adding Atabites until we can tap from top to bottom and there is no ringing at all. And that is enough. That is the perfect amount. So there's no guesswork there. The more we add, the more mass we add to the stand, so that is better. However, we don't want to put not enough in to stop the ringing and really we don't want to have to apply too much because that means might means we might need to buy more product than we actually need. Now these can't be too heavy, you know, they can't have too much in from that point of view, but we just want to fill it up just enough until there is absolutely no ringing from top to bottom. So, let's get to it. Okay, so what you can see here, this is our obviously Apollo Cyclone 6 stand with the top off. Obviously this is it here with the top on, with the top off. As you can see here, this is very much a Blue Peter style funnel using a piece of paper that had a previous video script on it and some sellotape that have made a funnel. Now, because I am the clumsiest man in the world, I've actually poured just some of our Atabites from the bag that they come in, obviously into the bucket. And what I'm gonna do is just gradually do it bit by bit and take my time because otherwise it will end up all over the floor. So please bear with me. So already, with the tiniest amount, you can hear a difference. Already, with the tiniest amount. This is not ideal, I would advise, you know, to get yourself a real funnel. Okay then, really? Look at the difference. I'm tapping the bottom. Look at the difference. As we move up, hear the change in? Can you hear the change in tone? It's pretty good already. Let's try putting this back on. I'll just try. So at the top, we're still getting ringing, but at the bottom, as we're getting near the top, it changes still. So we need obviously quite a bit more yet. Pretty much there, I feel. Just want a little bit more weight to it. I've hardly used any of what comes in this. I'll show you how much. I've hardly used literally any of what comes in this tub here. It's a really good product. Basically, I put all the product that obviously I put into this bucket, but that is nowhere near. I mean, if you look at the bag, this is what um, this is what I've got left, and and I've got enough obviously in this one stand. So there's enough here to probably do four of these, which is you know for thirty pounds, yeah, really good product. So let's quickly put it to the test. 
we'll just move that to there for a second. Looking inside the speaker stand, we are full to about here. So we're about three quarters full. So let's test to see if we think that's enough. We'll just grab our top on and do our tap test. So we tap from the bottom. Make sure we're in the carpet properly. Make sure our top plate is not ringing as well. A little bit at the top still. I think I should apply a bit more. So, the good thing about this product is no dust. There's minimal mess. I'm pretty sure the carpet, the Hoover's going to suck this up, no problems as well, which is really handy because I have spilled some on the floor. That was inevitable. There's a, quite a bit of mess there now. Just give it a good tap. We're still getting a tiny bit, but if you think we're now getting probably half a second, if that, there, gone. Ready? Before it was lingering for maybe three seconds or more, wasn't it? So it's a significant improvement. And once we put obviously mass on the top of the speaker stand, once you put the actual speaker on, obviously that's gonna obviously help add mass to the top and stop the top plate, which is probably ringing a tiny bit as well, but, we can clearly hear it's a significant improvement. But I'm going to apply a little bit more. I just want to see if I can really deaden this down as much as possible. So now we're full to about here. And that should probably about do us. Yep, significant more mass. You know, I need to obviously, the spikes are not leveled, so it's not perfect. But once the spikes are leveled, it's not going to go anywhere and we're good to go. Let's give it one more tap test. Still more. If you can see if you can hear this, ready? See this tap? Now at the top. So here, solid here, where it's not enough material. Just a little bit of ringing still. So. If we're gonna do it, do it right. Okay, so we're full now. Tighten that up. We're full now to about here. So let's try it. I think this will be enough. I actually feel for the single upright stand, to be honest, more mass, more mass is good. So obviously if you've got stands with multiple tubes, then it's obviously naturally heavier, but just a single stand I think we want the more more weight the merrier so give it a tap test yeah now all the way from top to bottom even at the very top isn't hardly any change or, or really no change really so that's been a, a, an OCD audio file doing it like that but for me that one's that good so we know we need to fill our second one up so just below the top and then we won't get any ringing at all. So let's get on with that and come back to you in a second. Okay, then quickly, both the stands are full with uh, Atabytes, and hopefully you can see this, we've still got the best part of just under half a tub left. So we've got enough here to probably do pretty much another whole set of stands, which is incredible, really. When you look at this as a retail product, it doesn't actually look like a lot, but in reality, there is a lot of product here. So. When it comes to buying a product to put in your speaker stands, this is the gear right here. So there we have it. We have both stands full. And as, as explained, for me, doing a tap test, these stands actually were much more inert once we actually pretty much filled them to the top. Absolutely nothing. Obviously apply a little bit of weight to the top because it just holds the whole stand down. Perfect, no ringing at all. So again, that tap ringing test is not something that you've, I've ever seen before. It's something that I personally invented myself or thought of myself. Your isolation, you know, isolation is very, very big in products. And the last thing we want 
our stand's doing is adding any vibration or, or kind of ringing in any way, shape or form. Because all that's going to do is cloud the music. And one of the big benefits and great things about bookshelf speakers and smaller speakers is the imaging that they create. So the last thing we want to do is add any type of smearing to that at all. So I hope this video has been helpful. It's pretty simplistic, it's a pretty basic thing. It just, not everybody maybe have thought of it like that. Maybe people just go hit and hope. I'll just half fill it or I'll three quarters fill it, hit and hope. And I'm guessing once they've put the speaker stands down, once they've filled them up, put them down, got them in a good place, the last thing they're ever going to do is take the speakers off and start testing, putting more in, taking more out. So again, it's about you know, high fire. A lot of it is, I think, just taking the guesswork out of things, just thinking about things obviously logically, common sense. So I think just taking the, any type of ringing out of our stands as we can is all the better and there's no way that adding too much mass to this is going to make the bass any worse or anything it can only make the sound tighter so some of the best speakers in the world are made out of solid lumps of aluminium so they are not going to ring at all it's like one great big mass and i suppose that is the great thing about using the outer bites which are a metal type of filler technically now this stand is pretty much the equivalent of being solid metal because the parts are so small they're all going to mesh together just like sand does only let's see we've got none of the extra hassles and stuff of sand and uh we've got you know a reasonable amount of weight to this now if we push it you know obviously it's still going to move because it's not bedded in the carpet but if we bed that in now okay. so one literally one to have about a bite is more than enough to do a set of these stands pretty much enough to do two or or put them this close i hope this video is helpful make sure come back and check out the review for the speakers obviously there'll be a review for the stands as well we review everything there's loads of great content coming we've got some fantastic products being sent to us soon so i hope this is useful smash that like button visit the website come back and see us again take care see you in the next video